welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. Well, 87 Cabriolet, and we got a brand new top for this girl. She's pretty scruffy, and I think it needs a new top. What do you think? She looks pretty bad. Uh, the headliner's in pretty good shape. It's got one little tear right in here, but other than that, it's good. Uh, the padding underneath the headliner, it all seems to be intact. Uh, I believe this is a, an original needs new cable here new cable i ordered some cabling but i believe this is an original top so it's done well from 1987 to 2024 anyway so beverly's going to be out here with me doing this job and she'll see her in the video from time to time and uh, we're going to start with taking this uh, we'll fold the top back and we'll start with taking this header uh, trim off first all right first step we're going to pull this trim off here like i said so right now somebody has had a, uh, there's a piece of adhesive um, weather stripping that they put on it. And it may have been on from factory because it looks like it's brand new underneath there. So we'll set this stuff aside so we'll know what we need to replace. And then I got my drill. I'm going to start pulling the little clips out, the screws out. I don't know if these have ever been out. They may have been, they may not have been. All right, well, that's the, that strip off. So we'll set it aside so we don't lose it. Now I want to pull off the trims here on both sides. So we'll do this side over here first. So there's some screws in it as well, the same screws. A little bit in there a little bit tighter than the other ones and then there's a screw here holding this this uh, trim on and it's a little bit larger screw so it's a little bit different so that's it for this uh, for this piece of weather stripping that goes on the frame Let's see if we can get this rubber off here Looks like, okay, there she comes. So that's just in there pinched in and it's got some adhesive on it. I should have left that screw on, I guess. There we go. We don't want to destroy these rubbers, but they do have a, a bit of a glue on them. So I have to remember that. So pull that rubber off. And there's a little clip it slips in under the end over here mm -hmm. so it goes down so we got to put, remember to put it back on the right way set it aside and we'll take the screws out of this one that one's already halfway out so there we go Now this seems to be stuck on. Let's pry it off a little bit. There must be an adhesive on it, yeah. There is. There we go. It's got an adhesive strip on it. So that's another thing we have to remember. Put that adhesive strip back on. So that's that. Uh, this piece here should pry off, yep, just like so. We'll put it in there. They're not marked right or left, so you have to remember which way they come off. So come right around here, Beverly. There's a rivet that has to be put back in. Let me see. Right there. So I have to oh, yeah. take that rivet out. When time comes, and there's these little blocks, I think, underneath here. Take it out where the screws go in. There's like a little uh, plastic clip block. Mm -hmm. And one's missing, that's why that screw was sticking up. But I think I have some of those. Yeah, see that square block right there? Oh yeah. So they're put in first and then the screws on. But uh, I did see on one of the videos where they cut it out so they could see it. But as long as you can locate it, that's what works for you. This will all have to be cleaned up in time. Let's get the other side. Again, these are a little bit longer screw. Yeah, it's still holding up in the frame. So, all right, let me get this rubber out of the channel here. There it goes, just like so. 
again, same as the other side, adhesive, and this time I'm not just going to pull, I'm going to pull up on it some to get off that clip. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to pull this uh, top back. I'm just going to tear some of this off because it's no good anyway. And there's a little uh, plastic nut in there. So that's loose. So let's see what we have here. Peel that back. We're going to leave the headliner in place for now. Mm -hmm. We're not taking that off just yet. This was all adhesive down. You can see it. A little bit of rust in there. I want to rust treat all this before we put the new top on. Prime it and paint it. And that's it there. All right, I'll pull it off the frame completely. Come on, you get up under there. <laughs> the new one just slides over. There we go. There. Yeah, this had a, an adhesive strip of some sort there, tape or canvas. Actually, I know what that is. That would have been a piece of uh, like a duct tape or a uh, tape just to keep the edge from cutting into the new top. Right. And that's all that is there. So we'll have to remember to do that. Put, yep. put a piece of duct tape over. Yeah. Duct tape will work or Gorilla tape. Looks like this is a fabric style. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I have some hockey tape will work really well for that. Yeah. That would be great because hockey tape is very durable and it's not super thick. Perfect. And that's that. <laughs> Get rid of this old stuff. I think we can tip this up some now, can't we? Yep. Ew. Maybe. Did I lock it down? Hopefully. All right, so we do know the top has been replaced. There's a QR code and an old stamp of 1997 when it was done. So the top was 10 years old and they replaced it. So we'll save that. I'll leave it on the top for now. So we can just roll this back, I guess, for now. Get a, oh, those straps, yes, that's another thing. Okay, so this strap here is still hooked to it. The new top has straps on it. These are riveted on those straps, as far as I know. Yeah, they are. They have rivets in them, so we got to leave those for now. Yeah, it, the, if you peel this back, you'll uh -huh. see that they're riveted on right there. Uh -huh. And they're just a little strap that goes down from there. So the new one should have straps on it. And the cable's completely missing off this one. And you'll see the straps for the, for the roof liner. So I think we should get some fabric to fix this up too. Yeah. It's in relatively good shape compared to some, I guess, but they may have redid that when they did the top. So we Continuing. keep keep rolling it back. <laughs> oh, now the cables on this side. Oh, there's another, this strap still hooked on. Not anymore though, I just broke it off. Can you get her? <laughs> Good. So this cable needs to be replaced. Uh, the spring is here, which is nice. This trim has to come off because it holds the top has to go wrapping around there. This trim, the little piece of trim that holds this uh, piping on has to come off. And then there's the cable, which this is a wire one, hooks in right down in here. It's just on threads. So it be have to unthread it and back it off. And if you come over here, this is where the, it's like a wire cable and it goes right around. What's that? And the window has to come out. So we can cut, we can cut away most of this now. Yeah. We don't need it for anything. All right. So we're just going to cut away the old top now. Um, you be careful when you're going through the fellow doing this yourself. I tell you, this is like I like I'm an expert, eh? I got this far with it now. I'm saying it, I'm an expert. But what I wanted to show you was in here. There's these canvas straps 
and if you're running your knife through don't cut them you'll need those that's my understanding <laughs> gone now we got to get that window out and new cables have to be made and we have to do something about this we'll have to get some cloth and clean it all up this has to be fixed this needs to be re-glued we're not put we're not putting the new headliner in this car so we have to save as much as we can i wonder if i can get this to unclip no I'll have to use the wrench on it and get it down out of there because it's really tight around this drip this rail right here this retainer and this will all have to be cleaned up all right so we got some work to do babe so all this stuff has to be cleaned yeah. and this strip has to come off like I said before yeah. and then we have to readjust that window because it's down on that side they didn't adjust it properly but yeah that's it so we put the roof on without the window first and then we cut a spot for the window that that's it yeah so this will all have the window will have to come out take all the staples out and then that last thing you do is put the window in good but so the window lots to do. so you have, yeah there's lots to do and we got to check the frame on this window and make sure it's all good make sure it's not rusted out and then we'll probably have to paint it and prime it so there's a few days a few hours of work on these things all right so now get the top all off of it I want to take this uh, padding off this can be just ripped because we already know that the dimensions of it so that can just be ripped, ripped away no problem but all these staples will have to come out you say this is all this old fabric we already know what dimensions it is, they are so yeah you can see how it's all let go and there's the under one it's all completely gone and this was bunching up and binding inside the mechanism which we can't have that so i think really what i'm focusing on right here now is getting these black vinyls off that we'll be reusing so i moved this over here and the rivet show you how to get the rivet out not too hard that's it just like so and then this behind it goes around from there it wraps around and back over it there's a rivet right here I did the other one on the other side already the same as the rear ones just a quick drill and it comes right out like that so that is the side is all freed up now down in here there's a ch uh, tabs and I'll need a screwdriver for that get rid of this pull it back this can be pulled back. This will have to be replaced, so I'm not really why I'm saving it, trying to save it. But there's those little, uh, there's one of those little clips there. This one's mostly up. Didn't really get put down very far. Anyway, another one there. Just getting behind them, lifting them up a bit. have to be up enough to, to get this this wire off from here so right in here in the corner you can see it or not right in there is a little hole that you can see the end of it right there so this this wire goes through a, a little spot for it there you pop it up out and then I can lift it forward and get rid get it up over those clips there. There it goes. There. That's all off there. Now there's a rubber. There's a rubber strap. I don't know if you can see it. It goes through the middle. Yeah, you can see it. Right here, there's a rubber strap. It goes around this first support bar that holds it forward. So that hooks into that uh, that rubber, that steel rod that I just took out. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of debris in there has to be cleaned out all right and that is the 
the roof pad minus that rubber strap off. I guess they put it on as the rub was being fed through the uh, material holes. I guess that's how I'll have to take it off too. So I'll have to pull the hold onto the strap, pull the rod out of the material holes. Bit of work there. That'll have to be a fairly wide pocket zone, and that it is. It's like two inches wide. And then that'll leave that strap on there, just like so. And we'll take this right off because we don't need it on there right now. There. I'll put that rod back in where it belongs, like so. And it looks like it, yeah, it would fit like this. That's why it was stuck. It goes in and then it clips like that. Just like so. And under this other one here. And then in the corners. And that is it for the padding. Take it off. And this is going to treat it gently right now. Try to keep it as much intact so we can duplicate what's going on there. All right, I'll set this aside. Well, I've got it all laid out. I don't know where I'm getting into now because. I don't know much about sewing, but I'm going to give it a whirl. So what I have here is uh, unbleached cotton, and actually what that is, a heavy-duty painter's drop cloth. So I need to make this for the pocket for that rod, and then I have to stitch these, these edges on, both sides. And the horsehair, the synthetic horsehair, goes in the middle of this, and on top is where that very thin th fabric was. And underneath this, when it's in the car, is the headliner, and on top of this is the actual convertible top. So basically, I'm trying to make a bag here with a little bit on that end to pull it tight so that it doesn't droop down like I showed you before. I'm going to open up this pouch here because this needs to be opened up. This is where the rod goes in, right through here. So that rod that holds the leading edge. So I have to open this pouch up. So I'm just going to take this uh, thread cutter like so open it all up this is going to be interesting i can tell you uh, my uh, sewing skills are very limited now i do have an old singer sewing machine that i'm going to be using on this it's an old one and it'll actually sew pretty heavy duty stuff it's not a an upholstery machine but it it sews heavy heavy materials i think in the old days they were doing a lot of denim and stuff like that there it goes so that just folds out and see how it's it's curved. If you're doing this, you're going to have to find your own ways to make it work. I'm just doing what I, works for me. So that rod would come through here and it would go as far as there and then down in into the uh, top of the convertible top frame. All right, Beverly's putting this, the needles in her. I had to employ Beverly for this job because my sewing skills are non-existent. My mom taught me when I was young, but I was... 50 years ago and uh, I wasn't that interested in learning so there's where the problem started right there the interest in learning anyway thank you Beverly for doing this part of it okay so that was a bit of a learning curve I had to get Beverly back and help me with it some but the pad fits in it and there's the alignment holes for the straps are right there and they line up and on the other side I don't know if you can see it or not uh, these holes will line up right there. It may be a little bit narrower, but that'll stretch out a little bit. And then these little uh, these little straps go down to the frame and hold it down. So now I have to roll this lip back on. So it's I'm going to measure it. I think it's two inches, but I'll, I'll check the old one and sew that back on. And then there has to, there's a pocket here. That's what this is for. It's a pocket for the uh, for the rod to go through, right through here. All right. So the old singer, she did the job. So far, she's doing the job. Well, there's the front piece done, and the rod's in. I put the rod in. I painted all that rod. I rust treated it and painted it all up. And what has to happen here now? There's a little pocket right here, has to be cut out so the rod can go out and stick backwards 
for that there's a center strap that goes back to the first bow so i have to cut a little hole in there but i'll do that when i'm ready to do it and that's it. Uh, that's for the inner liner. I'm going to put it on the car and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, that sits on there pretty decent. This will have to be stretched over these uh, class things, these sharp points. And then, which way does this go? This is the top. This is the horsehair right here. And it goes over top of that again, sort of like that. Just like so. So that's the under part. The horse hair and now it's not going to fall down inside it's going to stay up there good this is all dry fitting again this has to come forward so like that and then the sides will wrap over like so like that and then there's these little straps right here that i took off they'll get re-riveted back on looks good and then the little strap goes on there so now I have to put this uh, light fabric back on on the top and that's just in two pieces so that's gonna be pretty easy okay before I forget to do it I'm gonna put some uh, tape on the leading edge of this uh, roof frame and I'm using for this part it's called uh, Renfrew Pro I don't know if you can see that or not it's hockey tape and it's a really nice uh, it's almost like gaffers tape and I did it. I do have gaffer's tape wide uh, three inch stuff, but this is almost the same. It's very durable and it's thin. Does a nice job for that. The gaffer's tape I'm going to use up here across this part. Well, I've got this uh, started, this extra top piece. So I sewed it on one side and then flipped it over so it's the right way. So now I'm going to split it down the middle. And then just sew the other side on and do the same thing and then it'll overlap. So it's a ripstop nylon. And very thin, very thin. I'll see if I can put a link to it in, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description if I remember. If not, someone will ask me and I'll just go see where we bought it. So I'm going to split it down the middle. And the stuff is very thin so it won't take much to split it. So let me get that done and I'll start sewing her in. Drop the foot. All right. Now she's locked in there. Let's see if we can sew this guy. Well, I went ahead and took the window out uh, off camera. It became a bit difficult. I was trying to do it uh, from the inside out. Like you see on most of the videos where one was in pushing and the other one to make sure it didn't flop out. Well, I was here by myself. So uh, I was having trouble getting it started. So I peeled back this rubber and inside the rubber, someone the last time they put the window on, they had uh, packed it right full of butyl so it's the same stuff you put RV windows in and stuff like that. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's sort of a grayish, uh, it's a butyl. It's made with butyl, it's gray. And when it starts to harden up, it takes years and years for it to harden up. But when it starts to harden up, it's hard to get out. So what I did, uh, because I was by myself, I had to go around, peel the lip back, and then there's another lip that comes right here. So I had to go around the whole window with this tool the gasket rather, the whole window gasket, and peel all that butyl out. And it took me about well, almost an hour to get it all out, so it's, it was quite difficult. Once I was a, once the butyl was out, I was able to get this tool in behind that gasket and just kind of work it up at the same time as, uh, well, I can't do it from inside, the wood glass is there, but at the same time as pushing the gasket around with my fingers, and it popped right out after that. So, uh, that's what happened to the window. Now I'm setting up to get this, uh, as you can see, this is all made. Uh, this whole uh, apparatus here. Well, I've got this padding bag all patched up. I've got the rod in right there. The rod goes through it. And then I have that uh, tether, that rubber tether is through. And now it has to hook on right in here, that uh, where that tether goes. There's a bump in the in right here. 
there's a bump in the rod, it has to go right in that slot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the roof back and uh, make it easier to get it started. Well, I was managed to get it in. The corners were quite fiddly because the rod has to go down through a hole there. And there's a lot of material bunched up. On the other side is worse than this. I'm going to try to work it in when I get over there. I had to tap these outer ones down just to hold it. So now I'm just going to go around and, and get these ones down in place. Pretty easy. I think that's about all it needs is just, just to hold it. Well, that's on. I need to put these uh, corner straps on. And then there needs to be some uh, staples put on there to hold it in place. Otherwise, this will get all, uh, it'll be harder to stretch out. I got that stapled on the corners. I got the, the top lifted just a tiny bit. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and staple it. But I want to do is to give it a little reinforcing on the inside. So I'm going to use some of this hockey tape because I have it. To just run a bead right along there and then when it folds over it'll uh, fold over with it and i did the same here just a, a reinforcement so when it folds over it'll have a little bit more strength so we've got the extra tape on so i'm just going to roll it and this will pull tight with when the when the top goes down But I am going to start in the middle, like so. It's a lot of staples. Okay, it's coming along nicely. I am going to, actually in a couple spots, I'm going to do it in the front, even though it didn't ask for it. Or it doesn't show like it needs it i'm going to put gaffer's tape on and i'm going to do it on this back seam because i've got this great big giant roll of it here 90 feet so of this i think it's three inch just to protect this a little bit it's good stuff but it's the same as hockey tape except i couldn't get hockey tape this wide but the hockey tape is exactly the same uh, material. Okay, gluing time. So I've got this pad where I'm going to glue one edge first and then go over and kind of work it in. This, this is stretched from side to side quite a bit. So what I'm using is a Permatex heavy duty spray adhesive. And the reason I'm using this, it's good for 177 degrees Fahrenheit. The uh, Super 77 doesn't have uh, that heat range. So I wanted to have a good heat range. And I'm going to adjust this nozzle a little bit, see if I can get it to go on decent. So I need to spray both sides of this, which is not going to be super easy. All right, let me just get this over like that. I'll do the other side over there and then I'll flop it back dust off there and it only has to come to here for now actually I need to spray this too because this needs to be glued but we'll do that after we get the pad on sprays nice I'll put a little out there now while I'm at it and a little on that I should have a cloth on that Sprays out nice the stuff. Oh yeah, that's not bad. It's all inside. All right, I'll go to the other side and spray it. So 
spray that uh, piece for this side here. All right. There we go. That should be enough. For starters, let that dry for five minutes, they say. Any glue I get on the body, I'll wipe off with lacquer thinner. There. Save some glue for the next one. Okay, I think that's a good five minutes. Now there is a hole with a strap goes through here, so that's a good alignment tool. And there's a hole in the padding because that strap is on the top. So I'm going to line it up with that hole here, like so. And the old uh, bend mark too. Sort of like that. Oh yeah, that's a bit right on there. All right. Let's, let's put the layer on this and then flip this over. We'll go from there. extra on the other one just to be sure there we go we'll let that dry for a few minutes well while I was gluing the other side which I went ahead and did I realized I'm gonna be boxing myself in if I don't uh, glue all this down so I put glue on the front and I did the other side the back is glued but it's not in place but this stuff here is ready to be flipped over now so we got to try to get this hole up high enough here for the strap, like that. And there we go. And then there's that strap that we had the rivet in right there. And that has to go like that. And that is pretty much her for this one. Now I'll have to get the rivet back in there. This, this is all glued down. Now I'll go to the other side. Do the same. I decided I would glue this leading edge a bit here. So, and then I'll trim it off. And I already put glue on the frame. This is the light material. So a little bit of glue on here. And I'm just going to tape. Ah, I could glue it. I'll let that dry first and I'll see if I want to glue the whole seam. Which I think they do, but I'm not sure. Glued or not glued, I did it. Anyway, so I'll let that all harden up. I taped this, I'll put a row of tape on here as well. But it seems to be uh, that's not going to, no, that's not going to come off there. All right. But it wouldn't hurt to put a row of tape on. I don't think the original one did. But now it has to be uh, stapled on the back. The same as we did with the cotton piece. Stapled down. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll put a row of hockey tape on. And uh, we'll staple it. Let's put that rivet in first while I'm here on this one, but this will hold it. There we go. Let's do the other side now. I've got the top set on here and I'm just putting the wires in. So this back wire, I already set the other side in a bit. This back wire goes through this slot right here in the side. And hopefully it'll go through easily, which this, this top seems to be made very nicely. And everything seems to go in nice. So, there's a hole, of course, the way you took it out. There's a hole right in here. Now what they did do, they gave you just enough room that you can turn yourself back on it. Put a little bit of cable through. Do yourself a favor, you don't have to fight down in there. Where my nut go? There's enough, if you do it ahead of time, there's enough room you can bring this back up and spin on the nut and make sure that your threads are all clean. 
because you're going to have to fight with it if you don't. So that's what I see so far on it. So like that. And then that'll all start going down underneath this lip here. So, and I've got these tabs, these new uh, tonneau cover tabs. I'm going to get rid of the old ones. The new ones are on here. All this stuff goes right down under the top here. Went ahead with gaffer's tape. I put a strip right across, another strip equal in the front, and then fold it over the remainder just to give it a nice soft edge here. Yeah, trimmed off, obviously trimmed off the ripstop stuff. And now we can get this uh, top started here. Just put it in place to get some tension on it. Like so. Go the other side. Oh, why is that not? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the window's not going down. Come on, window. Going down. All right. Since you want to be a pain. There. That'll likely have to come back off again. But I'm just trying to get some stretch in it. Yeah. That's going to be all right. I think that'll fit. Oh yeah, it's coming around here nicely, but I still have to do these cables. All right, what are you doing, Beverly? <laughs> cutting the excess off. So you're cutting this extra tail off here. It doesn't need to be, it's too thick with it on. So I got some wedges. I got some wooden wedges, a thin one. And I got a thick one. The thin one is for the cable. The thick one is for the uh, piping. Once Beverly gets that off, she'll do the other side and I'll start trying to get the cable on here. There we go. So we got it all trimmed off. And where's my, my mall here? So we got it trimmed off. Beverly's going to hold on to the corner. I'm going to try to tap that cable in. She's got the front on this side started. These little tabs are a real pain in the keister, to be honest with you. All right, so I got the cable stick, which is what, a paint stick, Beverly? Uh, just a lath. Just a lath. She's coming along now. I had to make a, uh, you see that? Beverly's getting it cranked in there. I'm just tapping it in as we go. I had to make a fork and when she pulls out with the wrench and stuff, she'll show us what it, I made. Okay. What it is, is a piece of flat bar with a four millimeter slot cut in it. Ooh. Right here. And uh, where are we? There we are, four millimeter slot. And that fits over the stud on the uh, cable end that's flat yeah spot. you don't get just, vice grips in there it was like just spinning say. yeah it was spinning so that's all you need four millimeter but it has to be small enough to fit in that groove and it works well so that was the struggle we had now it's going much better so we're getting it in there now it's a struggle i'm not going to lie to you but uh, once you get it going it goes pretty good beverly had to take off so i'm just here tapping it in but I had it sitting overnight to stretch out with the heat on in the garage here. So she stretched out quite a bit better. So now this is all put in. And I have to say this part of it here, um, this was easy pushing it in with the sticks and it worked really well with the pushing on the beading. But these uh, cable 
adjustments were quite difficult. Hard to get in there. I think if I were to do it again, I would open the trunk and take the headliner underneath and move it out of the way. Easy to say now, should have done it earlier. Anyway, so I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna put the front. Overnight I clipped uh, with clamps just to hold it, but I'm going to, uh, these aren't strapped in yet, so I'm gonna bring it like that. I want to do the front lip here, this area right here. All right, so I decided to come inside here and, and do this. If I can stand right up. I want to glue this down and uh, I'm by myself, so it's hard to work it in by yourself a little bit. So up here it, it stays, so I'm just gonna spray it with glue. I've got the uh, protector on the other side, a uh, moving blanket just to hold it. see if we can get this thing on now this metal strip goes on so like that there now the rest shouldn't be too hard all right I'll get this done and then uh, we'll get back to you we'll start doing the edges so this front lip is all back on Strips on, end pieces are on. I never trimmed it yet, I'm gonna wait. Make sure everything fits good. But I almost forgot one of the side cables, so they have to be built. So before I put these straps on that go through, I wanna put side cables in. And actually some of this is right here. So I'm gonna leave it up like that. I put the struts back on as well, so that it'll stay there. So I need to get these side cables on and they hook into right there. So I couldn't put this on just yet until I put the side cable in. So let's get the side cables made. Cool. So I got the spring is still in place. Oh, I dropped the cable. Now my understanding was, my understanding of this was that these were 37 and a quarter to 37 and a half inches long. I have no idea, but I do know they go through this channel up here. And the manufacturer of this left a string to hook it to, so that was great. So I'm going to have to put a swedge and eye in this on a new piece of cable and put it through there. Run the cables through. So let me get that done. We'll see what, see what kind of length we need. Okay, so I made up a, a cable. I swedged it on the end, made up a loop. And I just used uh, wire crimpers for these because they're, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, it's pretty small cable. They're aluminum and... Uh, Swedge or uh, thimbles or whatever you call them. So now I've got this here to pull through. So I've got it taped on my cable. I picked black cable. Now I kind of can hardly see it. So I wish I'd pick something different. But I'll get it through the hole here. And we'll pull her all the way through. I have just a length of it. It's not uh, it's not swedged on the other end yet. So I got this uh, cable pulled through. Now I'm just gonna feed it up behind the, right here, there's a little eye that it goes through, a little pin. So I'll go up in there. To my understanding, all you're trying to do is keep this from flapping in the wind. So it doesn't need a ton of tension because you don't want it tearing through the, through the new top. So it just has to have enough to, to keep it. And I can feel it right there. So that should be enough to keep that top from flopping up. Give it a little bit more. And the spring has a little bit of tension on it. The cable's tight. Yeah. Yeah, she goes. Now I think that'll do her. Put the lid back down. And I took a screwdriver and pried that a little bit aside so I can get this out. I'll tap that back over once it's in there. Now, I'm going to take this piece, leave a bit of a tail, and then I put the swedge on, and this is marked now because that's how I uh, pinched it a little bit there, pulled on it, marked, the, marked where it needs to be, and if you feel it needs more, this is the time to do it. 
Now there's not a lot of travel in there, so it's going to be a fairly tight loop. It has to be big enough to get over there. All right, so let's switch this. I'm just using these. There's a whole process on swedging. <laughs> and I know I'm not doing it right, so. But this will do for this. We're not holding up uh, a sky rise. Cut the right one, don't cut the. There. Screwdriver. <clears throat> there, she's on over that. Now I'm just going to take the hammer. Give the light tap back, and I'll just tap that uh, pin area over a bit, just to lock that down. That should never come off there. All right, let's take a peek. There, there's tension on that. That should be enough. Oh yeah, good. Now we can put these straps on. I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll we'll work on these these straps. I'm putting the straps on now. These side straps. Now, I noticed that this material that I'm using is very tough and durable. So I uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. So I did mark the holes, and I have myself one of these uh, hole punches. Now these are pretty cheap hole punches but it does do the job here. Alrighty. So this will be the first, the outside here, cause I'll wrap it around. Maybe I should wrap it around first before I, otherwise I'll be taking my air riveter back off again. Back with a washer. I had two, I swear. Maybe I put two on the other side, <laughs> who knows. Who knows what I did there. All right, let's get this done. There. That's good, done, just like that. If you have one of these things, use it. All right, let's see how this looks. So that's the straps on. I didn't do this yet. So I wanted to get all those cables and stuff in. Another problem with this job is <laughs> my hands get dirty and then it's a white top, so it becomes a bit of a challenge sometimes too. There, I have to adjust those a bit. According to uh, the specs, if you uh, back your anchor screws off, your hook screws, and just have five threads exposed, and uh, it's about an inch. And that'll give you lots for just uh, preliminary stretches, just for hanging, right? So these sail windows need to be glued in. And okay, we'll get a little spray glue on these suckers. Get a little paper here just to keep the glue from getting on everything else. And then I'll put the top back up to, to fix them in place. Now these had a rivet on them. They might still need a rivet, but we'll see. Right. Why the paper's there? <laughs> Getting low on uh, glue. Here. Glue is dry. Now, well, set up, I should say. So we're trying to get this this edge right at the at the lip there. There we are, so it stays right there. Top, oh. oh, not enough. Yeah. This glue is good because it, you can reposition it. You got a few seconds to work with it. So now I've got this all lined up. I'm going to try and get this on. So we're using like an alien tape, it's clear. I don't know if it's a good choice or not. It seemed like a good idea at the time. 
It's uh, double sided, so that should be okay. Seems to be sticking in nicely. There you go, I've got my trim tool. I'll get the back in first and I can poke in the front. Okay, so I moved one of those up here, so now I can uh, I can get at it easier. I can put something underneath. Good. Alien tape. A little alien tape on this. Sure. That's double sided and it is sticky. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's sticky. All right. Let's see if I can line this up. One thing about you can see too because it's uh, it's clear. All right. Where did my drill go? So now I've got this. Uh, so now I've got this all lined up. I'm going to try and get this on. So we're using like an alien tape. It's clear. I don't know if it's a good choice or not. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It's uh, double sided, so that should be okay. Yeah. Screws. Why does everything get lost in your pocket? Pockets. Seems to be sticking in nicely. should stick. A lot of people use double-sided uh, foam tape and that's fine too. Now this one I'm gonna have to put in by hand or, or up here actually like so up like that. It'll go in there now so I can get the drill in it. the hole. That's not good. Hard to get out of there now. <laughs> oh, that alien tape has got some bite to it. Holy. I'll never get that back off again. There she goes. There. back together. I don't know which is top and which is bottom. With the weather stripping. Actually this is right, I think. Yeah. Hold on now, get both of them compare. Where's the other guy? They're all both cut. <laughs> the 
they're both cut different. Alright, we have to see how this goes. This one. Yep, the one with the angle like that. It goes. Yeah, that'll fit. I just flipped it over because of the way it was in the old curve, but that's the one. So, oh, it's shorter, shorter on the outside. So if you're look, looking to do this, that's what you do. All new to me. I didn't pay attention when I was taking it apart, so there you go. There we go. Yeah. the tabs and then poke them in. I'll get my uh, tool and I'll poke those in. There you go, I've got my trim tool. Get the back in first and they can poke in the front. So I moved one of those up here. So now I can uh, I can get at it easier. I can put something underneath. Good. Alien tape. A little alien tape on this. Or that's double sided and it is sticky. Uh, I'll tell you right now it's sticky. All right. Let's see if I can line this up. One thing about you can see too because it's uh, it's clear. All right. Where did my drill go? Oh, she took off one. Why not? I got so excited about getting this, uh, I think more, more nervous than excited. <laughs> about getting this uh, framed in I forgot to video it so anyway I took a little knife and I left myself out from the borders cut across both ways and now I'm just going through with the uh, stapler and uh, stapling it in so pretty straightforward stuff and actually the uh, if you just grab it and push down a little bit the stapler kind of pushes it down for you And go right around like that. It's going really well, actually. I was pretty nervous about doing this part of it, but it's going very well. Any cutting like that always makes fall nervous. So like this, and then into the corners, I'm going to slit it. That's kind of the recommended method. Is just to is to keep slitting. Slitting it like this in long slits to give yourself some room. I'm going to cut away some of this now because this is done and I'll trim it up later. The knife is sharp, it just this stuff is pretty darn tough. Like so. And I'm just going to keep slitting it. So I'm going to find the edge. If I have to slit it a hundred times, I'll slit it a hundred times for relief. Just don't go beyond. All right, she's all stapled in. I got the roof. I forgot to mention I left the roof up about that much, just on the to give it a little bit of. Uh, relief and then I'll uh, when it pulls down it should pull that in nice and tight 
So now I'm going to trim off the remainder of this. Okay, it's time to put the window back in, the rear window. We got all the old butyl taken out of it. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit on the... Once we get it in, we'll clean up the gasket some. But it's all been cleaned up inside, inside the gasket, which is the important part. So what I'm doing right now, make sure there's nothing stuck in there. I'm putting my uh, string in. I'm using uh, weed whacker string twine because it fits in there nice. All right. So yeah, just be careful that okay. there's some black stuff, yeah. black sealer that's going to be messy if it gets, out. If it okay. gets on that, yep, that white top. Okay. So all I'm trying to do is get that. So now I'm going to go inside. I'm going to pull this tape off. Can you yank that out, Beverly, through? All right, so now what I'm going to have to get you to do is with open hand, push on the middle there a little bit, just lightly. That's good, yeah. And I'll see if I can... Can you pull it down with the other hand, Tom? Okay. No. You just hold it there. Don't worry about pulling it down too much. I'll, I'll start pulling this, this gasket on. And once we get it over the lift, it'll it'll come down. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna need it to come down a little bit yet. Like so. All right. In the lip around that's all we're trying to do here sure you don't touch any yeah don't touch anything white once you get that stuff on your hands we can stop anytime all right so that's you may have to try to tap down with your hand like this brush it downward yeah. okay. but she's going in nope i lost it there For now, it's 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 don't push down on it okay. or in on it. Just hold it because it's pu it's pushing against the gasket. Okay. You must be able to feel it going in. I'm going to the other side now. This this string is too small. Like it's not fat enough. I thought it would be. Yeah. It's going. Oh, yeah, it's going. Yeah, it just it's a little thin, right? Yeah. So it doesn't grab as much meat as it needs to, but it's going. It works. It works smooth. It doesn't pinch. All right, now we're getting up in here. I might have to get you to push in on the glass there, yeah. Until I get around the corner. Some of this will probably have to get doctored up. It's gonna have to go on the other side then. So at the top, you're gonna have to push pretty hard now okay. on both sides, or at least the side I'm working on. Yeah. The lead here. 
If I can get my finger under it, I'll be good. It's a bad angle. There are tools for this, yeah. Alright. Let's see if we can get this side then. Hold on. Same thing happened over here. I don't think Yeah, you're going to have to I'm going to have to come out and try to push it Yeah, I could be in there I get what you're doing Maybe you can do the pushing Yeah Let me see if I can get this back around Going right away from the glass here What's that? Well this is probably what's going on It's not on the glass Let me come out There she's going in. Got it? Yeah, I had to just reach around and try to get that lid there. Ow. Tear half my arm off on the window here. I have, uh... I have this tool here. It might help on the inside. Yeah, could you? Do you want me to go in or what do you want me to do? I just need this. I'm going to go back in. Okay. And then I'm going to go like this on here. Okay. And I'm going to pull that lip over while I'm doing it. Okay, if you need that, I don't know if it'll help or not. Okay. Yeah. All right, push down on it when I'm doing this. Yeah. Actually, that might work pretty good, that tool. There it goes. Now. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Did it go down some? Yeah, all right, let me pull some more. There she is. Yeah, not quite, but it's getting there. All right, so the corners are tough, yeah. especially the upper corner like this. If we can get, it just needs to come around. All right, push down. Is she going down on you? <laughs> it feels, it's, it's, down, yeah. it's coming in, yeah. yeah so it just needs to keep going. Uh, quite a bit of pressure on this corner. There you go. There. That, that slipped in, yeah. That slipped in. Good. Now we'll just keep going. Get my string back behind there. Can you feel it dropping in place? I get it there, yeah. Yeah. 
this tool works pretty good. Yeah, that it would. Yeah, I can just walk it right along. Yeah. And then I'll pull the string out after. I think you almost got her now. Yeah, that's a pretty good tool <laughs> for doing this. Clay, but oh, it's it's, all right. Well, right, sure. for the most part, the window's in. Yeah, that went good. It went good. Yeah, it it's a, it's it's always a bit of a struggle these ones. You don't you don't do it all the time. Well, I went pretty smooth actually. We lost that string was a little too small. A little bit larger cord would have been better. Uh, Beverly's off getting some cleaner to get some of this black off. So now I'm just going to go around it with uh, a sealer to seal this, uh, this lip right here. So let me get geared up for that. I'm going to fill it with Flexi Seal paste just around that gasket there. I have a small hole in my uh, tip. And hopefully I get enough in there that it seals it. Oh, this is sticking a little, there it goes. All right, we'll squish that out. At least it's white. <laughs> yeah, make sure that stuff is all. I need a roller, so I need. And then I'll let that dry, and I'll get rid of that remainder of that stuff. Quite a lot on the bottom, more than it needed to be. And you could tape around this if you want it. Polo could tape around it. But I'm pretty sure this stuff will just cut right off. Now we know we're sealed. There she is. We'll let that set now. All right, so it's been sitting there all overnight, uh, actually a full day. So now it's time to take the extra off and it should just pull right off and it's doing pretty good there. There may be a little bit of residuals, but I can get it started. Just seal it off here. I can grab that tool Beverly had, that uh, clay forming tool. Just hold on. All right, I got that clay forming tool. Actually, it's pretty handy, this little tool. It's not sh sharp. It's just for doing claymation stuff, or uh, I forget what the stuff's called, but it'll actually just lift it do a little cutting on it like that but it won't cut the material you don't want to cut this material don't use a knife on this <laughs> just scorned a little bit like I say, don't use a knife, you'll be in trouble. But that's common sense anyway, I think. The stuff comes off pretty clean. It'll be a little bit of cleanup, I'm sure. All right, well, let me continue with that and we'll get that all taken off there. Well, there it is. Top come out pretty nice. This ceiling come up nice. It'll need some little cleanup around the edges some. 
everything's nice and solid. I have to put the interior back in the car. Uh, the headliner parts have to be put back in, but that's it. That's pretty much it for the old convertible top for the Cabriolet. Uh, missed a spot in the video right here on this side, but the rubber's on. I didn't show put the rubber's on rather. Um, hopefully that didn't bother anybody too much. I think if you took the rubbers off, you should know how to go back on. But that's it, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.